I haven't played it. I want to wait with it for you guys. Until I've completed this and then completed Dark Souls 2 and then started on DLCs. It, it will take a while, I'm not gonna lie. I just noticed that I brought these guys in here. Dumb idea. That's gonna be hard and usual now. How can I deal with this efficiently? God. What was that? You know what, I have eight Esters. Let's go find the boss up here while we still have a chance to do so. I keep forgetting about this guy. I love this shield. So much. guys so much. <sighs> I need to get a Hubble's ring so I can go faster on. I just need it. There's no excuse for it. So if you haven't figured it out yet, there are three types of rolls. Oh, I am oh, not you. God, are you fucking kidding me? I can't believe I'm so fucking dumb. I want to show you guys how easy it is to kill this boss, and by doing so, you can summon two people to help you. Both are NPCs, Salaire and Lautrec of Karim. But to summon people, as I've stupidly forgotten about, you need to be a human. So I need to go to a bonfire. Meaning all the enemies, all the enemies, will respawn again. I should have done that earlier. Should have done it earlier, but no, I'm an idiot. I keep forgetting about it and I keep dying, so I don't see any point of becoming a human sometimes. And I don't have anything else, a anything else to do than actually become human, so you know. Level up. That's not what I want to do. There we go, now that, now that now I look a lot better. <laughs> It will be fun to get the rest of the Bolden Knight armor, though. While well, we're at it now, we might as well just kill them all again to see if we can get it. This is a pretty decent spawning... spawning? Farming! <laughs> Farming spot for Bolden Knight armor. It's pretty good. First out of the game, even though it looks like you've been transformed into a hole. And this is what remained on your body. It's pretty good. It really is. The starting gear. I don't ask how that didn't hit. That is not good armor. The Hollow Knight armor? Terrible. Nope, though. What? Why isn't he coming towards me? It's only one guy. Probably gonna try to parry me. I keep mixing up things. I need to focus more on playing on less than talking. Maybe I should do post commentary. That would be a lot helpful, wouldn't it? But that would be boring. I'm not an expert at editing. I have no idea how to even put audio over my videos yet. Which is another problem and uh, another reason why I'm not gonna start with face cams yet. I don't know how to, like, 
put the footage from the face cam into the video. I have no idea yet. I'll figure it all out, don't worry guys. I'll make do with what I've got. It's probably not that hard. Fucking stairs prevented my parry. I'll deal with it. Do I have anything to throw? Because these guys are fucking annoying. I've got black fly bombs. Throwing knives. Are they potent in this game? Are they useful, I should say? No, they're fucking worthless. But you do stick to the heads though, which is pretty cool. It would be a shame to die to this guy, wouldn't it? Don't worry, I'll go in with five Estus. I can deal with that. This boss is extremely easy when you can summon two people. As I've explained before, the boss do get harder, but there's actually a way you can get around that in this game. It's something that they made sure you couldn't do in Dark Souls. If you press a summon sign, like, now he is coming, and if you manage to run up and go through the fog gate and, and start the boss before he actually enters your world, the buff on the boss won't appear, you could say. So I'm actually going to be doing that with Solaire here. I'm just going to wait until Lordric is in. There he is. So I'm going to summon him, and I'm going to run as shit to get the stuff. If I can reach the cutscene before he's in my world. Yes. So the the boss will only have the buff from uh, one and from one. I shouldn't have skipped the fucking cutscene, that's for sure. It's basically just you get to see these guys spawn. Hello. Or come to life. And I want your tail. There we go. You can cut the tail off most enemies in this game. And now I'm gonna be lazy and sit back and watch these guys do my work for me. Let's look at that. They do such a good job. <laughs> Lord Trick is actually doing a better job than Solaire, and Solaire just kill steals with our bolt. Lightning bolt of this. He's got another one. What the hell is he throwing out? Slayer drunk. I don't know what he's doing. You're supposed to fight the boss, Slayer. Ah. You know, let's just let's just chill. Let's Lord Trick do all the work for us. I hope he dies. No! Lord Trek, you lazy fuck, go work for us. There we go, good boy. Goodbye, Solaire. Goodbye. Oh, I love Solaire. Not Lord Trek, he's a dick. Might as well abuse him while we can, I'm gonna kill him anyway. <laughs> Calling him lazy fuck for almost not fighting while I stand back and watch. Hilarious. And then it's just the long ladder to the top of the tower. The ring, the... Thou shalt, thou shalt ringeth the bell of awakening. I just love the way that he, Os Oscar, Oscar of Astora in uh, the Asylum. The way he said that, it's just beautiful. Thou shalt ringeth the bell of awakening. And ringing the bell does absolutely nothing. What a twist. 
twist indeed. Ah, luckily you can slide down ladders in this game. You could try to jump down, but I'm pretty sure you would have died. Ah, maybe not. You can fall up quite a distance in this game without dying. And here we have a name I can't remember. Greetings. I am Oswald of Oswald. The past. No dearest to love thee. Yet magnanimous are the gods. Come it out to confess. Or to accuse. Or indeed all sinners might So basically, if you ever there's a thing in Dark Souls where you can hit an NPC and he will turn hostile. If you so do that, you can actually come to this guy, request absolution, I think the word is, and uh, and he will be friendly again, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I didn't talk to him. I've never used his NPC. Oh, he doesn't have a talk option. Okay, that explains. <laughs> Wait, I'm fat bro? Since when do I fat roll? <laughs> Have I done that all the time? And not noticed? That's because it's not fat rolling. I think I can show you guys that now. Never mind. Really? How can I become the heaviest of them all? Oh, I know. This way it's more. And that's fat rolling. You just flop on the ground. Flop. <laughs> that's fat rolling for you. Those are the three stages of roll. This is uh, average. Fast roll. And then it's the flop. I don't mind. Look at that chest. Oh, look at that. Amazing. <laughs> so now, ragdoll for no reason over there. Now we can go and kill our friend. There's like an echo of my own footsteps in this room. It's pretty, pretty good. The quality of this game is amazing. I don't even know when it came out. It's a long time ago. I remember there being a big, big, big gap between this and Dark Souls 2. And now they're making Bloodborne. Sadly, it's a PS4 exclusive because Sony licked their asses. Literally. I'm pretty sure Sony just came crying over, we want Bloodborne for a PS4 exclusive, yes, yes. Poor FromSoft. We're gonna get a lot of shit from that, I just know it. 